what's going on guys welcome to my new video um i normally try to drop monday wednesday and friday due to work commitments couldn't really get a video out on monday although i did film some stuff i had a like a mystery box you could call it uh, just a pop in a box um ding 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 um that turned up i opened that and i will that clip will be in this video also managed to get hold of some Pokemon product that I was uh, able to open up. Um, again, will be in this video segmented somewhere in. I've now learned to edit my videos, <laughs> uh, not to like a, an amazing standard where I can do um, art stuff and everything like that, but at least now I can record clips and put them in um, as and when I need them. So yeah, it's getting good. I am learning, so a um, little bit tired today. I was on the um, John Luke's chat last night till about I think we finished about quarter to one in the morning and then I was too wired so I couldn't really sleep till about half one I'm back up at six in the morning ready to go again um so yeah been a been a crazy week in regards to sales this week it's been more of the same I'm not going to bore you with showing you games and DVDs that have been flying out the door um been really good with sales I can't complain I'm hoping to break four thousand pounds this month um just before the end of January I should do it I'm hoping, I'd love to hit five, but it's not going to happen. So I'm setting my targets, but I'm setting realistic targets. So yeah, I feel like I'm looking over there, but I'm not. Um, so yeah, realistic targets. Four four K was where I, I didn't originally. I set my sights at two K for the first year, um, at first month even. Um, Blew through that in the first 15 days, and then since then it's just trickled up and can been, been been very consistent. To be fair, about 60, 70 pounds a day, so if not a bit more, um, it's got to be a bit more because I've done nearly 4,000 in 26 days. So yeah, can't complain. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few of the things that I've personally bought this month because um, it's been payday picked up a few things just regard around payday and they shown up very fast delivery and I can't complain and yeah I'll show you one item that I did sell which I find really weird so this is a 150th Jack Daniels um, anniversary bottle it was a litre um, and it was absolutely delicious I drank the whole bottle in about a couple of weeks you know I had a little bit of friends and stuff like that but it was it was great very smooth whiskey these were just sitting in my um, loft. I uh, let you have a closer look at that. It's very nice decanter. It's very nice. Don't get me wrong. And the box is in amazing condition. But these were just sitting in the loft. I always save them because maybe one day worth some money. But I got them down, and this is sold for thirty pounds. Thirty pounds for an open box, uh, an empty bottle. I'm like, great. I'll buy some more, drink it, and sell the boxes and get thirty quid back every time. As long as that keeps happening, I'll be all right. Um, yeah. Spent most of my day today um, listing DVDs and CDs, just working through some of the bulk and testing controllers. So I have about four controllers for my PS4 and have no time to play the damn thing. So I'm going to slim down to one. I would love to keep this one, but it's worth some money. So I'll keep a standard black one and I will sell my camo. I got a blue and I got a FIFA one. They will all be getting sold. Um, on top of that, it's been more of the same. Like I said, Wii consoles flying out the door. Um, every time I get one in, clean it up, bundle it, reset it, and they're gone the next day. I can't recommend Wii's enough at the moment. As long as we're in lockdown, I think we'll keep selling Wii's. Uh, Wii Fit boards flying out the door. Just Dance Connect games are going out really well. Everyone wants to be doing a different type of home workout, I think. So like um, UFC Connect, Fighter Within Connect, Just Dances, like I said, they're flying out. And yeah more of the same guys it's uh not much different from anyone else is doing i'm trying to find sort of my usp my unique selling point for these videos i'm not quite there yet so i'm just going to share with you my journey and talk about what i enjoy to do i enjoy collecting games i enjoy collecting cards and pops and anything geeky pop culture wise um always looking to get some more sealed sealed uh, games for the shelf i've got a couple up there and uh, always collecting cards so that's what we'll get into the next bit so recently I've been mainly a Pokemon collector I did play Magic the Gathering when I was a lot younger um, it was I was I was very young so it was I wouldn't say it was too complicated I just I was never as good as I was at 
Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh in the tournament scene. So I just didn't stay with it. Didn't stay with it. But I still have tons of the old cards. No Black Lotuses, unfortunately. Um, but still, tons of the cards. So I thought I'd get back into it. See if I could have a go. Find some friends who will play. Um, Bought a couple of booster boxes, basically, of the latest sets. I've got a box of Commander Legends, sealed. Now, normally I would just, this would have arrived and I would have burnt through it already, but being on YouTube, why not do an opening? So that's what I'm going to do. Commander Legends, we're going to break this box and it'll just be a little video one evening. So I'll set it up on my uh, new photo table, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen. I might be able to add a quick clip in here, show you how I take a photo. Um, and then I also got a box of Core, Core 2021. It has a lot of your staple cards in and just cards that are good from last year more so don't know why they call it course 2021 but yeah so yeah again i will normally would have burned through opening these but i will wait and do a video why is i get the content guys and you guys get to share along with me i don't really know a lot of the values of the cards and i don't know a lot of what's the better cards in there like i said i'm learning this so i will put the video up and i may pull an amazing card and not notice so you'll have to tell me in the comments hopefully you will and then this one was a pre-order that I didn't expect to come through, but did come through. So it's because they're quite back stocky at the moment. It's a Mewtwo GX case file from Detective Pikachu. In this, you get one foil promo card, the Mewtwo. Uh, you get oh, that's the oversized card. Then you get a foil promo featuring Mewtwo, and then you get four Detective Booster Pikachu booster packs two additional Pokemon TCG packs and one code card for the training game. Yeah, I'll probably give the code card away if I open this. Um, I'll be honest, not chasing the, the cards out of this. I don't know what the two booster packs are. So this is probably going to sit up there somewhere on the shelf sealed for now. Um, the movie was really good. I enjoyed Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu. I thought it was basically Deadpool playing like Pikachu. Um, but I think I think it was a good movie. I mean, Ryan Reynolds, he was just born to play Deadpool. Um, if you ask me, that he will, he embodies that character through all his movies. So if you read Deadpool comics, if you have followed his character, that movie representation was Deadpool. So I just thought it was really good. Right, so I'm probably going to link in the video now. I'm going to probably put in either the Pokemon box break or the Pop box break. We'll wait and see. So, Infinity Toys have been kind enough to donate me a uh, Marnie Special Collection pin box to open. This has, I think, 9 or 10 packs of Champions Path in. So, I'm going to deshell this ready, um, switch view, so we can get a nice little pack opening going and see how it goes. Hopefully we pull that Zard I'm chasing. Right guys, so now it's all deshelled. I'm going to show you that 8 packs, it was 8 not 9, of Champions Path. Pretty sure these are standard four from the back card trick, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, obviously you get the four, eight booster packs, sorry. You get Grim Snarl and you get more Pekka. Um, each comes with their own individual pin, which I have switched around, I've just noticed. And the code card. Feel free to uh, grab that code, guys. First one gets it, obviously. Don't need that no more. Got Penny Sleeves ready. Um, top loaders are behind me, should I pull the Charizard. Let's get into it. So... I'm not a massive fan of Champion's Path. Again, keep the code cards, guys. All are white because every pack of Champion's Path has a hollow. So yeah, I'm not a massive fan of Champion's Path. Um, just regards to pull rates. I've opened so much of this and just not had what I call quality pulls. So we've got Lightning Energy, Leopard, Turfield Station, Stadium, Malamar, Galarian Lanoon, Pokeball, Scraggy, Purloin, Sizzlypede, Scrappy Reverse Hollow, and an Eldegross V. Not too bad. I do sleep my Reverse Hollows. Um, just do. And I, I obviously uh, sleep my V cards. Eldegross V, it's not a bad card. I think it's like £4 at the top end. So not a lot. Keep going. We need that Zard. So very short on time, guys. So I will be flying through this one today. Again. Grab that code card. One, two, three, four. Fighting energy. B day. Kabu. Sonya. I'm getting all the uh, trainers. Kavana. Galarian Lanoon. Weedle. Inke. Atena. 
Victini Reverse Holo and a Holo Machamp. Actually after that Holo Machamp, so that's not a bad one today. So I do have quite a few, but I need one for a colleague. So happy to get that one. Like I said, Holo in every pack, so you, you know, for kids and um, people who are just enjoying packs and pulling hollows, it's not a bad set. Um, for the collectors out there, like myself, we've got so many scrappies, so many, um, so many of the hollows, so many. Um, Lightning Energy, Turfield Stadium, Milo, Roton Phone, Sizzlypede, Machop, Roly Coley, Full Heal, Potion, Metal Energy, and Alteria. That's the hollow I was trying to think of. Alteria. So many Alterias. So with tournament season hopefully starting again soon, um, I am seeing a large increase in trainer cards uh, going out and Infinity Toys. Um, people are buying a lot more of them, getting ready for the tournament scene, buying the four sets. So as a reseller, it's something I would look to do is put bundle up my uh, cards into four sets of four copies of each trainer and try and sell them and the tournament scene. Fighting energy. Hop, Team Yell Grunt, Piers, Sizzly Pede, Roly Coley, Inke, Nicket, Hatena, Reverse Hollow Vulpix, and because I'm crap you can already see there's something good behind. So it's a suspicious food tin. It's pretty much the only gold card in this set if I'm correct. Um, so it's not bad but it's not great and that centering is I was going to say it was a little off to the left, but that's actually not that bad. Whereabouts am I? There we go. So yeah, I will top load of gold cards. Um, I'm pretty sure I need one of these for the actual binder. So I will top load it for now, because uh, my office can get crazy. And then we'll uh, probably end up in the binder at some point. Let's keep going. The fact that I pulled that secret rare probably means I'm not getting my Charizard in this pack, but you never know. So I'm used to it now. Um, one, two, three, four. All right, water energy. I don't do the guess the energy uh, trick or anything like that. So, suspicious food tin, leopard, hype potion, potion, ekins, purloin, sizzlypede, full heal, hatchery reverse hollow, and another ulterior. So, at least I'm pulling rare reverse hollows. Um, better they're better to pull than say your standard common reverse hollows they normally fetch good money just because they're harder to pull usually again with this set lots of duplicates <laughs> so i think uh we've i think allocations are starting to come out now for um shining fate so people should be getting uh being told soon if they're getting their cards um if their pre-orders will be met One, two, three, four. hopefully we get a lot of it if not, I'll be disappointed. I want a Shining Fates ETB from my shelf and to keep sealed. I would also like some of the cards loose. So yeah. Uh, Darkness Energy, Milo, Rotom Phone, Team Yell Grunt, Rockruff, Hatena, Trubbish, Nicket, Machup, Reverse Hollow Kakuna, and a Galarian Obstagoon. Just to speed this up, guys, because we're about five minutes into this segment, I'm just going to sleep at the end. So yeah. Try and uh, keep this good. As I said, keep grabbing them code cards if you want them. I did try once putting them all into a um, into an online game, and yeah, I just got bored of it. I'll be honest, but um, yeah, I enjoy playing with actual cards. Fire Energy, B Day, Leopard, Turfield Stamen, Machop, Swablu, Nicket, Kakuna, Ekins, Hatrem, and Scrappy. Last pack, guys. Don't think it's going to be my Zard. I'll keep praying. So overall, this this box costs about fifty pounds retail, if memory serves. So we're sort of probably not going to make our profit off this box. Um, so, but it's been fun to open. I haven't opened anything in a while because we've not had any sets in a while, and Vivi Voltage was just crazy money. Um, so I wasn't opening any of that. I was keeping all my boxes sealed. So yeah, Metal Energy, Rotom Bike, P Drill, Absol, Machop. Roly Coley, Full Heal, Potion, Vulpix, Reverse Hollow, Rockruff, and a Marnie Hollow. So yeah, no Zard. I got a Suspicious Food Tin and an Elder Ross. So when you say £50 and you get these, it kind of sucks. And that has sort of been 
my luck with this set it's been ETBs I've cracked I think I've done six ETBs I've done multiples of these Marnie boxes it's probably one of the cheaper ways to get packs um, I've done double boxes and everything so I'll just run through the reverse hollows and hollows we've got Rockruff, Amani, Hetrin, Scrafi, Kakuna, Galarian Obstagoon, Alteria, Hatrine, Vulpix, Alteria again, Steel Energy, those are quite cool, Vicini, uh, Victini and Scrafi reverse hollow. Um, like I said you get the pin badges, I tend to give these away to people most of the time and the more Pekka and Grim Snarls are like a couple of pound each at the most. So now, not one on this box, guys. Um, I should have a Rebel Clash ETB to do soon. And possibly Shining Fates in February, or possibly a Hidden Fates ETB in February. That would be cool. Um, stay tuned to the channel for more of this. Um, yeah, uh, probably not the end of the video, so see what comes next. Just quick clip of my new uh, photo setup, guys. I got these Weber lights. Um, Weber lights? Not Weber, newer lights from Amazon. I'm messing up the focus there. Uh, they were recommended by Sam Sell Stuff. They're the ones he uses. Can't complain about them to be fair. The lighting is brilliant. So I would just literally um, I just literally set them up. I put the items sort of where that Commander Legends box is. It's good. It's much better than how I've been taking them. I've been using a sheet draped over my chair and sitting on a box and taking photos. Um, it's much better than that. But still, I'm not quite happy with how the photos look. I think it's the base and the silver border trim at the back of the table. So I'm probably going to get like whether it's some white paper or something white and clean that I can sort of smooth out that curve and just have a sort of a straight line for my images and sort of make it look a lot better, a lot cleaner. Like I said, guys, I'm learning every day. I watch all the other resellers and I'm just trying to learn tips and tricks to make make more money basically the, as much as I enjoy the YouTube it's the reselling is about making money you know I want to do this full time I would love to be my own boss and you know have the freedom that being your own boss comes with yes it comes with a lot of restrictions but at least when you're responsible for yourself um, you don't have to anyone telling you what to do you decide how much how often when you want to work I mean I'm really enjoying listing from 7pm till about midnight now that's taken a lot of time for me and my partner but it means I still get to see my daughter so it's six and threes I have to make time for my partner and make sure we do get time together but she's very understanding um, so you know you have to do what works here she understands I'm trying to build something right now and get it off the ground so yeah that's what I'll do I've got these new lights uh, this is just a USB uh, multi adapter so I can plug in my charger, I can plug in charging cables of controllers when I'm trying to charge controllers and it fixes the two lights and I would just literally, see if I can do this, I'm holding the tripod, literally just set that there, this is probably not going to make good video guys, I've done it a lot. and just, yeah, set something up like so, I think I'm dropping the mic so if I do I apologise, and this is hopefully how we're going to do a box break, we're going to take this Commander Legends, crack it open, you guys will see my hands, you'll see me opening, and as long as I sit close enough, yeah, I think this will work. So this is sort of a test, you guys, you're seeing a live test, <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, from this now I'm probably going to move into the uh, the Pokemon opening anyway, which you can see how I did it prior, and hopefully this way will be better than that way. Plus then I can sleeve everything, I might have to bring them off camera just to sleeve them. But we'll see how it goes. Just had this come in the mail. Gonna see what's in it. I have no idea. I know what it sort of is. It's a pop from a mystery box company. Um, yeah, just thought I'd see what it is, guys. Let's have a quick look. So I don't do a lot of mystery boxes all the time. I do this one to gain discount on the website. Um, you sign up and you get 10% off their website. Along with used to be free shipping, not so much anymore. So I have no clue what's in there. Bubble wrap, and we'll use that later. And it is a yarn rug from Captain Marvel. Yeah, not the best. Um, we'll probably just sell this back on. 
not for me I think oh well see you again in the next one that pretty much concludes the video guys thanks for watching uh, as you can see I didn't really pull much good in the uh, subscription box and I didn't really pull much good in the um, in the Marnie box either I mean the gold card was pretty cool um, but I'm really chasing that Zard um, either one of them I'd be happy with I'll be honest um, they'd be going straight to PSA no matter the condition just to have one PSA that I pulled um, so yeah that really that's the end of it guys uh, please like and subscribe I'm trying to grow the channel and share it with your friends content will get better I'm going to do a lot of openings a lot of mystery boxes and stuff like that just stuff I'll be getting in and share with you my reselling journey um, I will probably go more in depth on sales when I have something good to show don't get me wrong I'm getting good money and making good deals um, but, but it's just more of the same it's just games 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 at the moment that's all anyone seems to want and with being in lockdown it's all I can get my hands on so until we can get out of car boots I can start picking up different items like all the stuff that everyone else sells that I'm so sure and then hopefully some new stuff um, until that happens I don't want to bore you with just yeah I sold a game I sold FIFA for twenty nine ninety nine. you know don't get me wrong great money um, got it on the listing fee so I only paid two pound fees and made a ton of money on it but it's it gets repetitive guys and I don't want to bore you with repetitiveness so yeah anyway <laughs> thanks for enjoying thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it please stay tuned for more